Well, it's the start of a new year, but the end of the road for Michigan. The Wolverines falling to Georgia by a score of 34 to 11. And this one not even close from the start. Georgia scoring 14 points early on. Michigan having trouble stopping the bleeding. And it was over really before it started. The story in this game, Georgia's entire offense, not one dimensional whatsoever, a completely balanced attack. Georgia putting up 331 pass yards, 190 rush yards for a total of 521, which is remarkable considering the Wolverines had only given up an average of 316 total yards a game, which was uh, good enough for 12th in the entire nation. Of course, offensive MVP of the game had to go to none other than Georgia's quarterback Stetson Bennett finished 20 of 30, 310 passing yards, three touchdowns, no turnovers, no picks, no nothing. Defensive MVP goes to Georgia's cornerback, stud quarterback, Darian Kendrick. He had two interceptions in the game. Michigan players shared their thoughts with us after the game. You know, obviously it's very disappointing right now. I mean, we gave, you know, everything we got and uh, we got beat tonight. But I think, you know, once, you know, once we give it a little time, we'll be able to appreciate a lot of the great things we were able to accomplish this season. But, you know, after a loss, you're obviously going to take it hard. And, you know, we're a competitive group, but um, that's not going to take away from, you know, the great things that we had this season as well. You know, to me, it's one of the one of the best seasons uh, in Michigan football history. We were trying to make it greater. You know, we were trying to make it greater tonight, but it was still uh, still a great season. Though this team won't be together fully next year, um, it's still a beginning for this team. Um, this is about when uh, when our guys, my Josh Ross to my left here, and Cade McNamara to my right. Uh, it's when it began last year. And it'll begin anew uh, this year. And even though the big screens behind us have said Georgia is the champion, I can guarantee you not a single player, coach, or fan over there believes they've won anything yet. They have their eyes set on Bama now. As for Michigan, obviously not the result they wanted here in Miami, but you have to tip their hats off to them for uh, a, a historic season, really. No one expected them to be here from the start. They were unranked and to even be in this college football playoff for the first time in program history, history for the chance at competing on a stage like this since 1997, almost 25 years ago. Uh, really a, a fantastic season that is certain to change the shape and the feeling around that program for years to come. So definitely something to watch out for uh, in the next few years. For now, though, for the final time in Miami, Max Goldwasser, Fox 17 News.